Hey folks, welcome to the basement. You haven't been down here in a while, have you? Well, that's because I'm down here in the winter usually. Um, when it gets really cold out, it gets warm in the basement because this is where all the HVAC stuff is. So I've been working down here, I've been spending my leisure time down here as well on this computer. Um, so, figured I'd show it to you. Uh, what we have here is a Leon Lee case. As you can see, it's one of the K7B cases. Uh, this has my old gaming rig in it, actually. You might remember that I used to have an H61-based gigabyte motherboard with a Core i5-2500S with 16 gigs of RAM. There she is. <laughs> She's back down here. Um, the only real difference is the graphics card is different and the hard drive setup is different. This computer has a gigabyte... AMD Radeon RX 460 in it with uh, 4 gigs of VRAM on it. It has one terabyte hard drive. Just a single one terabyte hard drive. No SSDs or anything. It's just a hard drive. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to put a second one terabyte hard drive in here because I'm running out of space on this one. So that'll be, uh, that I'm probably not going to show on video, but just know that I'm going to do that. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we have a Microsoft mouse with a with the patriotic mouse pad. <laughs> uh, a gel for a keyboard that's not here right now. I'll explain that. I have books underneath my underneath this Dell monitor that I got from Road Geek some uh, years ago. Uh, it's a 1080p, 23 or 24 inch display. I think it's 23. Um, very good display, by the way. I really like that one. I have these Dell computer speakers as well. I like these speakers a lot. I think they're made by Harman Kardon or Altec Lansing, one of the two. Uh, I have another one of these Logitech game controllers. It's an F310. I love these controllers a lot. In my previous video I mentioned that I didn't I wasn't quite clear on what these did. I, I knew what they did but I didn't really know how to articulate it that well. X on the back of this, if you put that in to, if you turn the switch to X that gives you X input, which is what an Xbox 360 controller uses, and D, which is direct input, which is what you know older school controllers use. So, if I wanted to play Grand Theft Auto 3, I would switch that into direct, and rather than uh, X input. And that solves a lot of problems I've had with older games, where the Xbox controller just doesn't work play well with them. A controller like that does. So, same deal upstairs. This this is basically. Uh, a similar build that's upstairs except that it's a Sandy Bridge based computer with an AMD graphics card instead of an Nvidia one. It's a budget one, it's the RX 460, but I've had the best luck with budget cards this year. The 1050 Ti has been great, the RX 460 has been great, I'm very happy with both of them. Now you may notice that a keyboard is missing. That's because the keyboard's getting an upgrade. This is the keyboard I've been using down here, it's one of these Dell keyboards that came with computers, let's say, the, let's say you went back to the Pentium 4 days and got a Dell Dimension 2350 or a Dell Dimension 4600. One of these would be supplied with it. You guys might remember this. I actually got this brand new in its box um, from an auction house that was just throwing it away. So I've been using it and I actually really like this keyboard. It's a hell of a lot better than some of the later uh, Dell keyboards that have the big space bar at the bottom. You know those? These, these keyboards are really good actually and they're really durable so I've been using that and for a mush board, it feels pretty good, so I'm happy with that. But I managed to get an upgrade. Since it's the holiday season, I managed to get a good deal on a mechanical keyboard made by Geezer. It is a Geezer GS3. There you go. It's a Geezer GS3. It's a pretty cheap mechanical keyboard uh, with... I'm not sure if it's genuine cherry switches or if it's, uh, you know fake cherry switches but I did compare this keyboard against my genuine cherry branded keyboard upstairs and it feels pretty much the same except for the cheapness of the keycaps and the cheapness of the plastic on the device itself. The metal is pretty nice though on this thing so we'll take a look underneath one of the keys and find out for ourselves. So it's a pretty basic mechanical keyboard. I got this for $46 on Amazon. I managed to get free shipping out of it because I bought a UPS at the same time, so that's pretty nice.
cherry blue switches. Well, I'm not sure if they're cherry, but they're that's what they're trying to be if they're if they're not the genuine article. Something I don't like about some of these mechanical keyboards, they try to be a little bit too gamer. This cable, this this thing is way too big. Like look how small the USB connector is. It does not need to be that big. That's going to be a bit of a hog. A bit like a wall wart only with USB. It is a backlit keyboard as well. Has some pretty nice um, feet on the bottom, which is pretty cool. It's also USB, so make sure your motherboard, you can get to your motherboard BIOS with USB, which luckily on this computer I can. With certain keyboards it doesn't like it, but hopefully with this one it does. I guess we'll find out. But this is the keyboard I'm using on this particular build, so I'll go plug this in and we'll take a look at the machine itself working and all that stuff and we'll take a look under one of the keycaps as well. yeah that's definitely cherry blue it's what does it say on it I can't even really see it that well there is a brand on it it looks like a clone switch to me it does not say cherry on it but they it feels so close to the real cherry switches that it it it, it really doesn't matter that much yeah, it feels exactly the same. The question is, are the clone switches going to hold up over time like the Cherry switches have in my Cherry keyboard upstairs? That's the main thing to worry about with clone switches. Are they reliable? But a friend of mine, Sansui 350A here on YouTube, has one of these, and he, he is hard on keyboards, man. Like, he spills crap all over him, beats on him when he's angry, and, you know... Uh, and these, this one has survived pretty well, and he likes the feel of it. And he's also particular with keyboards like I am. So, based on his recommendation, I decided to get this, and I like it so far. Just, it feels nice. It, it feels, I mean, it was forty-six dollars. It feels kind of cheap, but you get what you pay for, I guess. And it will go there, and it will be an, a good keyboard for down here. And uh, there you have it. So, yay. That's actually not terrible. It doesn't really take up too much room. But look how much bigger to, that cable is, or um, connector is than a regular USB. It's kind of huge. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. The mouse is still plugged in PS2, though. That's kind of funny. Now, a, a wrist rest did come with this keyboard, but I'm just going to use my pad here instead, because that feels pretty good to me. Yeah, this keyboard feels pretty cheap, but the switches feel pretty good, so. Turn the uh, speakers on there. Oh, wow. There you go, there's the Gigabyte logo. I think I missed the opportunity to go to the BIOS, but... While it's starting up, take a look at this. Isn't this festive for Christmas? Lots of red and green in the middle. This is definitely the pride flag keyboard if I ever saw one. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Most of, most of these uh, most of these cheaper keyboards with uh, a, a, pretty much anything with rainbow LEDs like this tells you it's kind of chintzy. Keyboard worked right out of the box. That's cool. So. How do you turn the backlight off? Guess you do it like that. Oh, there's a setting where it breathes. How about off? Oh, you can make it do that. Yeah, that's festive for Christmas right there. <laughs> Here are your Christmas lights, guys. Make it make it with your computer. <laughs> Why not? Is there a way to just shut the lights off? Oh, look at that. Up, down. There. Off. But there you go. You can have a very festive keyboard out of that. I don't really need backlighting because there's a light up there right now. If I were to sit in the dark, that'd be nice though. That It's nice to have backlit keyboards in the dark, but... Yeah, I've been waiting for this thing to start up lately. And it takes a while. So, this is a computer I use to do document scans a lot of the time because I can just sit next to it and feed it documents. I've been feeding it stuff out of this binder from work, and boy, has that been taking a while. 
I like the Microsoft mouse I'm using. It's a, um, what is this? This is a basic optical mouse version 2.1. Very basic. It doesn't even have backward and forward buttons. It's, it's just two buttons and a scroll wheel, which is exactly how I like a mouse. As simple as it gets. You guys know me by now. So this computer, let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's running Windows 10. The newer build of it. There's your uh, CPU. It is the uh, Core i5 2500S. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's running 64-bit Windows 10, of course. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's Windows 10 Pro, by the way. So that's always nice. Let's go into Device Manager just to show you what I have in here. But up, but up, but uh, there's the RX 460. Very good card. I'm very impressed by it, actually. I thought it would be worse than it was when I bought it. Uh, I managed to get it a good deal on it. I got it for like 90 bucks on Newegg with a rebate, which is awesome. So it ended up being extremely cost effective to uh, get this card and sell the RX 470, which was giving me problems. So the 460 is a slightly different GPU, and it seems to not have the issues that the 470 did, which is nice. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with the budget CPUs. On both AMD and uh, NVIDIA's side, I have much better luck with them, for whatever reason. I just do. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. I play games on here. I do work on here. It, it serves a similar purpose as the machine upstairs, the Windows machine upstairs. It's kind of a clone of that, only without an SSD. So, <clears throat> like I said, I need to put a... Uh, a second one terabyte hard drive in here to give it some more space which will happen because I'm upgrading the junk drawer at some point to bigger drives so <clears throat> that won't be a problem um, what else can I say about this computer well it's a Sandy Bridge machine they're rock solid and stable and I they it, I see no slowdown you know yet for these machines uh, it does everything I needed to do include gaming without any hitch whatsoever. Sandy Bridge is still pretty strong. The integrated graphics on it are another story, but as far as sheer processing power, it does great. I'm still very happy with Sandy Bridge. Uh, let's see if I can get into the BIOS real quick. But yeah, Sandy Bridge is really good. Uh, and now with the addition of a mechanical keyboard, it is complete. Now, I can't confirm this yet, but there's a possibility I might be moving next year sometime. So, I really wonder how much of this cool stuff I'm going to keep. I want to keep this machine, because I like it. You know, these Sandy Bridge machines are great. Good, the BIOS thing does work. CPU runs cold. But yeah, if there's a possibility I might be moving next year sometime. So, I would like to, if possible, keep this machine. So... What I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, getting rid of a lot of machines I don't need. So what you guys might see are some uh, last few videos of those computers, assuming I can get, you know, assuming I can get to the place I want to get to. Uh, but that's that. Those are my plans for the future. Um, I might be moving, so you might be seeing some new scenery at some point. Uh, I don't know. Big, big plans. Big, big plans. But for now, just this machine. I'm, pr I'm hoping to take this machine with me because these Sandy Bridge machines have held up really well. I really like them. So this is the machine I've been working on in the basement. Uh, maybe I should show you how these speakers sound. They sound pretty good. So I'll start the computer up and I'll play a sample off of the uh, Harman Kardon speakers. After typing on this a little bit more, I can make a judgment on this Geezer GS3. The keyboard's actually really solid, but the keycaps are cheap. Like, the plastic's really light, so it feels kind of cheap to type on it. That's not the switches, that's just the keycaps. So if, if you replace the keycaps on this board, it will probably feel fine, I would guess. So, yeah, just thought I'd uh, mention that. <laughs> Not bad, man. These speakers sound pretty good for how small they are. And for if, 
if you want to know where this music comes from, a lot of artsy music. Go sub to them. They post a lot of good music. Uh, but anyway, that's where I've uh, gotten some music I've played just to test some speakers recently. Be quiet, phone. And uh, these Dell speakers really shine. I really like how good they sound for their size. So there you go. That is... Uh, that's really all there is to say about this computer. I mean, it just did. If you use one computer, you use them all, right? <laughs> the graphics performance is pretty good on the RX 460. I Doom with Vulcan on it actually is really good. I'm impressed with it. This isn't a high refresh rate monitor or anything like that. It's just a standard 60 hertz monitor. So all I expect out of my games is 60 frames per second. I'm not one of those frame rate junkies. I don't really care. But it, at least 60. I mean, you know, that's that's the goal. You know. But yeah, there you have it. That's the basement PC. Uh, who knows what this will change to whenever I move, which could be next year sometime. But for now, it's a machine I'll be using quite a lot in the uh, colder months because it's nice and warm down here in the basement. So I thought I'd show you what I'm using these days down here. So there you go. This is remember what this remember this when you had a hard drive in your computer, just having the thing be on constantly. Yeah, that was a thing. So. There you go, guys. That's the uh, basement PC for the end of 2016. And uh, not the most exciting video in the world, but hey, there's not. I don't have a whole lot to talk about these days, so I got to stretch it, man. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, uh, I hope you all have a good holiday season, and uh, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.